Hi everyone, Mr. B here with another Halloween game for you. Now this one is called Ghost Hunter. So first, we're gonna need to make some ghosts. Actually, you just need one ghost, but there's a couple different ways you can make them. So you just need something like a grocery store bag and feel free to make it as artistic as you want. I am an excellent artist, as you can tell. I'm really not. Or I also had a kitchen trash bag. So that's it, you need that for your ghost. Okay, then you also need something to hunt the ghost with. So you need your laser balls. So any kind of ball will do. Make sure they are soft though. So these are really soft because we want to make sure that we don't hit anyone or break anything. So these are soft. I'm going to be using these three. Now, if you don't have something, a squishy ball like this, like a Nerf ball, make a sock ball. I've showed you this in many of the videos, but never hurts to remind you. We'll just roll it up just like that. Once you get it rolled up and you open one end, shove the little rolled up part inside and then oops if you don't drop it then you have a sock ball okay so it's easy to make several of these just make sure you wash them when you're done okay all right now once you've found and or made your ghost and you have three laser balls you're all set to play now the game is simple you have a ghost hunter who will start right around here now you don't have to use cones like i did i'm just using this to show you and then you'll have the ghost launcher. You can also play with more people, just keep track of your points. The hunter is the only one who can score. Now the hunter will try and hit the ghost from this area here. And you can take three, up to three shots every single time the ghost is launched. Okay, and then the ghost launcher will stand a little bit away and you can go as far as you want and you can change up the distance based on how challenging you wanna make the game. Is it windy or not? So play around with it and figure out how far you want to go. Now to launch the ghost, you can do it a couple different ways. The simplest way, and I'll use this grocery store bag I think for this one, is to just toss it in the air. But when you toss it in the air, you do want to make sure that you get a little bit of air in it because you want it to float down like a ghost. So an easy way to do that is just kind of like this. And then toss it and it will slowly float down. Now. It's a little windy today, so I think you couldn't see that at all on there. It did actually flow, but did the whole thing off the camera. So start from over here. So again, just toss it in the air, and that time it's floating off that way. So again, the hunter would have up to three chances to strike the ghost with the laser balls. And again, you can get up to three points. If you can hit it three times on the same try, you get three points. Okay, if you get zero, you get zero. So that's the way to do it. Now. There's a couple other fun ways that you can launch it. So I got a couple things out here in case you're wondering, why is there a vacuum cleaner out there? Show you that in a minute. So another way you can do it is with a broom. So you can get, again, just get your bag and you can put it on top of a broomstick like this. And then you can just raise it up as high as you can and then just try and get some air in it. You'll notice that time's floating pretty well. So this might be a good method. But I think by far, the most fun way to do it is if you have a shop vac or a blower, you can try and put some air into it by simply ah, turning on your shop vac. You do have to set it up to blow though if it's like a vacuum cleaner, it's not gonna work. And then you just turn it on. And you can either keep it up in the air if you want to. Just like that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and show you a couple of examples right now. I'm gonna bring out Mrs. B and we will show you how it works when you have a launcher and a hunter ready to go. All right, let's have some fun. All right, everyone, we're all set. Mrs. B is going to be the launcher. She's elected to use the broomstick instead of the shop vac. I don't know why, but she wants to do that. Most of you will probably have that available anyway. So as soon as she launches it, I can launch up to three balls per launch. And hopefully I can score at least one point. All right, so we're all set. Here we go. Mrs. B can launch whenever she's ready. Now, unfortunately, you didn't see that, but I got two points. <laughs> all right, so on that last one, I did get two points, but the ghost floated all the way over off a of camera. Again, it's pretty windy today, so depending on the day you're playing, you might have some better luck than not. So here we go. Ah, 
All right, I got one on that one. So a lot of times if you hit it, the ball will take it down, but every once in a while you'll, be, you'll get lucky and you'll be able to score more than one point. All right, so that time I got two. I barely hit it on one of them, but I got lucky since it didn't knock it all the way down and I got two points. Got one on that one. One, two, three. I got three points. So I got kind of lucky by not hitting it directly. I was barely hitting it, but that's the first time I've gotten three points. All right, so I think we're gonna end on that note. I hope you have a good time playing this. Remember, you just alternate. So usually when you're playing, Mrs. B would take her turn and whoever gets the most points wins. That means you're the best ghost hunter. All right, have fun hunting ghosts. See you next time. Happy Halloween.